Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at how to trace an image using the background image feature and this will be for uh, TrueCut RD works. But before that let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za we make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates otherwise back in the program here now uh, just so you guys know this is going to be a mini series on the bg tracing or tracing a background image uh, we've already gone into depth about actually tracing how to use some of these nodes and so forth or the paths so we're not going to go into too much depth of that but um, this is definitely a video worth noting i would definitely say this takes uh this method takes priority over the previous one we showed seeing that um this image is rather non-editable so when you're working with these path tools it's quite convenient so now um yeah you know, when it comes to the tracing a background image overview now something to keep in mind with this you can only have one image at a time imported so you cannot throw multiple images and also the location is pretty limited you can choose if you want it center or in one of the corners you can however scale it which is quite um, convenient so if you wanted to um yeah, let's say trace something a bit larger then you can do that you can obviously afterwards um, transform your shapes again make them smaller or bigger so that's not such a um uh, an important note and then uh let's see a few other things um worth noting the yeah the image i'll try to demonstrate it um still but it's something to keep in mind when you import a background image it will stay throughout all your files so if i open another file this image will still be here so if i let's say save and uh, we just go new as you can see this image is still there so when you're working on a new project you will have to have to manually remove that just keeping in mind then when you go back to your previous project that image will also be removed so it's just something worthwhile noting when you're working with um, imported background images. Now, uh, yeah, other than that, it is rather simple. Like if you wanted multiple shapes, let's say, and you want to trace them at the same time, what you can always do is you go into a different program like Photoshop or GIMP, something like that, make a template um, image, and you would throw all your shapes in there, save it as an image of its own, a single image, and you import that image. Then you can have multiple shapes on the same uh, page this is also very convenient when you're working with complex tracing so let's say you've got a full design it's not just a shape and you've got different design elements within each other then um, this will be handy because like i say it is not non-editable so i can't select this um can't edit points or nothing which is great otherwise in the next video is we're going to be looking at setting up the um importing background image so in the meanwhile we head here to softwaretraining.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover over here and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the videos you're looking for just go here request a training video fill in the mini form and we'll do our best to make that video for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers